Hi guys, I want to come out here and talk to you a little bit today about how to keep your house stocked up uh, because prices are very high. You know, if you see eggs six dollars a dozen, that's got to kind of tell you something about what's going on in the world about supply and demand. So the best thing is to learn how to keep a stocked up pantry of dry goods. The reason I say keep dry goods, they may not be the healthiest thing to keep, but when you see supply and demand driven up where prices are so high you can't even get a dozen of eggs, it makes you think what's gonna happen next. So I'm gonna be giving you a quick list of a, a way that you can stock your pantry up when you go to the store. Now, say for instance, it's only you and another person in the house, even if it's three people in the house. When you go shopping, if you go shopping like twice a month, then every time you go to the store, keep canned goods. Canned goods is something that won't spoil quickly. Always check the date when you buy because you want it to be the most current date because it might sit on your shelf. You might not get to it because what you're doing is stocking for hard times. So if it's two people, you're going to pick up while you shop your regular list of things you need, like your menu items that you want to cook. Get 10 to 15 different kinds of canned goods you know, as well as your frozen veggies. You know, frozen veggies are very healthy and everything, but start collecting canned goods. Canned goods can stay on your shelf. If your lights go out or anything happened, they don't spoil. That's something you can open and eat. They don't spoil. Also, when not only 10 to 15 canned goods every time you shop, pick up four boxes of different pastas. Pick up two kinds of rice, at least brown rice and white rice and whatever kind of other rice you want. Also, pick up two oats, two things of oats. Pick up four loaves of bread. When you see bread on sale, don't get two, get four. You know why? You can always freeze bread for the next time. So if you run out of food, oh yeah, pick up peanut butter and preserves that go with the peanut butter, not jelly, jelly spoil quick. Get preserves, because what happened with preserves is got real fruit in it and it snapped real tight in, in, in the gel and the fruit lasts better than jelly. So get your nut butters, your peanut butter, your almond butter, get different preserves. Make sure the preserves are made from whole fruit. From, uh, you know, you can see the crushed up fruit in there. Get you some preserves. Um, get you some jello puddings because you might want to make a cake or a pudding or a pie. Uh, get you some powdered milk. Keep some powdered milk in your pantry. Keep you some crackers. Uh, if you see nuts on sale, get you some nuts. Also, another good thing to have in your pantry, get some canned meats if you are a meat eater. Even if you're not a meat eater, you can always get canned tuna. You know, canned tuna is a protein Say for instance the lights go out, you can eat can you can eat tuna right out of the can. It's already kind of steamed. Get you some canned tuna, get you some mackerel, keep you some sardines, keep you some canned chicken, keep healthy canned items of meat. And you know, get 10 to 15 things like beans, uh, soups, tomato sauces, things like that, canned fruit. You know, get keep you some raisins, some applesauce, jello, powdered milk, peanut butter, almond butter, preserves, crackers, nuts, uh, pastas and rices. All of that. And you don't have to buy all these things at once. If you shop twice a month, on the first shopping spree, get some of these things. On the second one, get some of these things. And every time you shop, get some of these things that are dry goods. I mean, I know they may not be the healthiest, but when you get in a crunch, if something shall happen and there's nothing in the store, you have cans at home that you could open and make something quickly for your family. Uh, you can always steam some rice. If you're able to get your rice steamer, get your rice steamer. 
if you're able to get you a pot where you don't need to plug it in, you don't need no electricity, you just turn it on and cook with it, get you some kind of pot like that, you know, a, a pot you can cook without, without lights or without anything. Always remember, prepare for emergency when there's none. Keep you some candles, keep you some things to turn on, lights in the house that just may be on battery or something. Anyway, just be prepared for all types of things. Well, anyway, guys, I'm not going to hold you up. I just want to remind you to always keep some pantry items. I know they're not the healthiest because they come in a can. But during hard times, when you have no food, no money, when things go up, they're so expensive, you will be grateful to get something, okay? Now, if you're vegan, you want to get healthier types of canned goods, then you research what can I get that has less additives in the can? But, you know, they have some salts in there to preserve it, you know, because freezer items are sometimes not, they don't last like everything else or they get freezer burned. So I'm also going to be giving you a segment on what types of spices to keep in your kitchen. Uh, I'm growing plants right now for my spices, so I'm going to have a segment on that. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks for chiming in. Bye-bye.